find seclusion and you will find peace. Wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom today. It's another day on planet Earth. We're here to enjoy the beautiful weather, the birds, the air, the sun. What is there not to enjoy about the planet Earth, right? So seclusion, like I said, find seclusion and you will find peace within yourself. I've been alone for a year and a half, all right? It's been a year and a half since my journey really started to pick up. Kind of like the beginning of my spiritual awakening was probably about a year and a half ago. And that is when things really started to ramp up, okay? Things really started to ramp up in my life. I lost all my friends. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I have zero friends. Just me, myself, and I, okay? I am my own best friend. I have learned how to live with myself. I have learned how to be at peace with myself. I've learned how to become friends with myself. Okay, it's not easy to be alone all the time. It's not always easy to be at peace within yourself all the time. But it is a journey that will help you grow exponentially. Being alone helps you grow so much in so many ways. Okay, ever since I started to be alone, ever since I lost all my friends, like I said, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. I don't have anybody that I can go and talk to that really gets me. I have friends, but I don't have friends that I can actually go and talk to that will actually understand me for who I am, that will actually relate to me and my journey, what I'm going through, right? Only I can relate to myself. There's, it's only me. I only have myself. And a lot of you might be able to relate to this. Not having anybody that you can go to for help, not having anybody that you can go to for advice or guidance or just to vent your thoughts even. It's a struggle at times not having anyone to talk to or not having anyone to have that connection with. But... I'm starting to learn, I'm starting to grow, and I'm starting to learn how to be at peace with myself. Okay, I don't need to be around other people all the time. I don't need to be around friends all the time if it means that I'm going to be distracted, if it means that I have to conform a certain way, that I have to act a certain way, that I have to become a different person that, I'm not re that who is not resonant with who I really am. Right? I would rather I would much rather be alone than be with people that I can't relate with, people that I can't resonate with. I would much rather be alone than with people that I have to act fake in front of, with people that I can't be myself around. I would much rather be alone. It is so much better to be alone and happy within yourself than with other people and feel super disconnected, feel super anxious even, feel super disconnected with yourself. Okay, I have a lot of friends, I had a lot of friends in the past who I would be around them and I just don't feel like myself. I just can't be myself around these people. I'm sure you have experienced this, that I'm sure you have people in your life that you just can't be yourself around them. You feel like you have to act a certain way. You feel like you have to conform to their beliefs. You feel like you have to become a different person just to satisfy this other person, right? You have within you this care so much of what other people think of you. And I was there, and I'm still kind of there, but I have grown so much from what it used to be. I used to care so much what other people think of me, right? It was a struggle. It was a big struggle in my life. Being around people, being around friends, going out with friends, I would, I would worry so much what they thought of me. I would, I would worry so much. I would have to feel 
Like I really have to act a certain way. Like I really have to become, like I really have to identify with a false identity of myself in order to function around these people. I just can't be myself. And I haven't really found a person yet that I can really be myself around. But it's all happening for a reason. Everything in this universe happens for a reason. Okay, if bad things happen to you, or struggle struggles happen to you, you know, hard things happen to you, it's happening so that you can grow. It's happening for a reason. It's happening for your greatest good. Everything. Everything that happens to you. It's all part of this process of evolution, of growth, of learning, of life. It's all part of this journey of life. So the fact that I don't have any friends that I can relate to, the fact that I really just don't have anybody in my life that I can really relate with, that I can really talk to, that I can really connect with, it's all part of the process. It's all happening for a reason. It's happening so that I can find seclusion and peace within myself, right? If I was around friends all the time, if I was around other people all the time, around friends, who I couldn't truly be myself around, who I couldn't truly relate with, then I wouldn't be able to have as much growth as I've had in my life. I've had so much growth in my life the past year and a half. So much growth. It is crazy. So much growth. And I've learned so much by being alone. You learn so much by being alone. Try and go out in the forest all alone on a nature trail. Okay, I've been doing it for a year and a half, almost every day, just going out by myself, okay? When you do this, you become who you really are. You become closer with your, with your authentic self, okay? You become so much closer with your authentic self, who you really are. You get to know yourself. You really get to know yourself. When you spend time alone, when you go out in nature alone, when you sit at a picnic table all alone, you will learn who you really are, okay? You will become best friends with yourself. And it's such an amazing thing. <clears throat> it's really such an amazing thing to experience, going from worrying about what other people think of you all the time and stressing about becoming somebody that you're not stressing about fitting in all the time. What does he think of me? What does he think of the clothes that I wear? What does he think of my hair? What does he think of the way I'm acting? What does this person think of what I said two hours ago? What does this person think of what I did the other day? You know, all these thoughts in your brain of what other people will think of you, they don't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you. It does not matter at all what anyone else thinks of you. All that matters is what you think of yourself, okay? It does not matter what anyone else thinks of you, okay? They can think that you are weird, they can think that you are stupid, they can think that you are crazy for the things that you do, for the way that you are. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter. All that matters is your own self perception, your own self-belief is all that matters in this life. And when you spend time alone, when you spend time with yourself, you begin to realize this. Your care of what anyone else thinks starts, starts to fade away, it starts to go away. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of life. Okay, You are here to experience this life. You are not here to live somebody else's life. You are not here to be player two. You are here to be player one. You are player one. You are in control. You are in control of your thoughts, your actions, your beliefs. You don't have to worry about what anyone else thinks of you. You are you, and that is it. You are perfect the way that you are. You don't have to try to act a certain way. You don't have to try to be anybody else. You are perfect the way you are. And this is what you realize when you spend time alone, when you go out in the forest, on the journey within. This is what you realize. 
and it is an experience. It is pretty profound. It is pretty profound. It is such a blessing to be able to experience this, to be able to feel what it feels like going from, like I say, going from really having a false identity, really having to act a certain way in front of people, to just being yourself, to just truly connecting with yourself, being comfortable in your own skin, okay? That's another thing that being alone does. It makes you comfortable in your own skin. You can be yourself, right? If I, w if I hadn't been alone for this past year and a half, I wouldn't be able to speak to this camera right now. I wouldn't have the self-confidence that I do right now to speak to this camera. And it's not easy to do this, right? It's not easy starting off. It's a process. It's a process of growth. It's a process of evolution. It's a process of joy. It's a process of going higher, right? Progressing along the journey, becoming confident within yourself, believing in yourself, and it's one hell of a journey, okay? And yeah, like I said, it is not easy starting off to be able to have the confidence to speak your truth, to speak your mind to a camera or to anybody. But if I hadn't been alone, if I hadn't had all this alone time with myself, if I hadn't been with myself for so long, learning to be comfortable in my own skin, you know, I definitely would not be doing this right now. Okay, I am not who I am. I'm not who I was two years ago, whatsoever. Completely unidentifiable. You know, I might look similar, obviously, but who I am within my thoughts from two years ago, not the same. Not the same at all. Thank you all for tuning into this video. If you found this useful, if you found this helpful, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is only the beginning, right? We're on this journey together. This is only the beginning. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, have a beautiful day. And I will see you in the next video.